how to make the background black and white. When you have opened your image, right click on the layer and add alpha channel. Duplicate the layer. Deselect the top layer by clicking on the eye and select the bottom layer. Go to colors. Colorize and slide the saturation slider to zero. Click OK. Go to Colors, Brightness and Contrast and adjust the image if necessary. With this image I increase the contrast and brightness. If you do this, it's important to pay attention to the black and white background and not to the object that eventually will stay colored. Click Preview and then OK. Select the top layer and make it visible again by clicking the eye. Because this layer is on top, it covers the bottom layer. Go to the toolbox and select the eraser tool. Pick a brush with a hard edge and increase the size of the brush to plus minus 700 depending on the size of your image. Now we can start erasing the biggest part of the color of the top layer, so the black and white bottom layer becomes visible. We do this by left click and hold and then move the eraser. If we accidentally erased a bit too much, we can hold the Alt key and bring back the erased parts. When we come closer to the subject that has to keep color, we can reduce the brush size and zoom in by holding the control key and turning the mouse wheel. When we hold the spacebar, the eraser tool changes into the move tool and we can move our image. Don't click, just move the mouse. Letting go of the spacebar turns the move tool back into the eraser tool. When we have made this second round of erasing, we come to the really detailed part where we have to zoom in very much, maybe as far as you can see the pixels, and we use a much smaller brush. We can also make the brush bigger or smaller by holding the left or the right bracket key. This process of erasing can be quite time consuming, so for the sake of the video we will speed up things and move on to the end of this process. So don't forget, use ALT when you have gone too far with erasing and paint some color back. Use the spacebar to move your image and the bracket keys to make your brush bigger or smaller. When we are finished and content with our work, we can go to view, zoom and fit image to window to see the result. By clicking the eye of the top layer, we can see the black and white image with and without the color layer. Thank you so much for watching.